Sunday, Murray State hosted the annual Polar Plunge that benefits Special Olympics. It's where people get to slide down an inflatable slide filled with cold water. The slide isn't just for anyone. Participants had to donate a minimum of $40. Regardless, everyone finds something to enjoy. The part about the Polar Plunge working here is probably just seeing the community involvement um, and the campus involvement. Everyone gets super excited to be here and we're super excited to raise all this money for such an amazing cause. So it's, a, it's an amazing event. The event also included a costume contest and dancing. Every new semester at Murray State brings changes and improvements to campus. This year saw the opening of a new residential college, improvements to Roy Stewart Stadium, and as Joey Reynolds is about to show us, two new restaurants. When Sodesco first arrived at Murray State last spring, they made it clear that they wanted to give Murray State's dining options a facelift, promising renovations and bringing numerous national chains to campus. The facelift began with the opening of two new stores this semester. Einstein Bagels was the first place to open at the beginning of this year's fall semester. The chain is very popular among college campuses around the country. Students say it's a great place to get a quick bite to eat in between classes. The store takes the space that was once occupied by Starbucks, a small convenience store that was there for the past few years. While some students miss the store, others are feeling optimistic. Uh, I miss, you know, going in and getting energy drinks or just snacks or candy in general. But I also like Einstein's and how I can get sandwiches and coffee. So, I mean, I guess there are pros and cons to each, each, each store. Einstein's offers a very diverse menu that features everything from pizza bagels to avocado toast to frozen coffee coolers. No matter your taste, there's surely something to please everyone. Speaking of pleasing everyone, by far the most anticipated opening this year was Chick-fil-A at the Curris Center. Students have been asking for the fast food chain, and last semester it was announced that their wish was finally granted. Although students still had to wait a bit longer, as the store didn't open until the end of September. But when it did, students came out in droves with a line stretching out of the door for nearly the whole day. Needless to say, the place is very popular with students. I feel like there's not really any reason to drive all the way to Paducah anymore. <laughs> because we got like all we need around here now. These two places are only the beginning of Sodesco's plans as they are planning to add Starbucks, Steak and Shake, as well as new renovations to Winslow Dining Hall. And if Einstein and Chick-fil-A are telling us anything, these changes will be very popular. For MSU Tonight, I'm Joey Reynolds. The addition of Steak and Shake and the Winslow renovations are expected to take place in the summer of next year. A new art exhibit is now on display in the Mary Ed McCoy Hall Gallery on the sixth floor of Fine Arts from October 3rd through November 1st. The art exhibit, Hue, works from the permanent collection, has a wide variety of artwork from Rambrandt, Hokusai, and William Hogarth, and from more contemporary artists like Ellis Wilson and Andy Warhol. The works exhibited in Hue represent artists of diverse backgrounds, eras, and styles. They were also chosen by students working in the university galleries. The gallery hours are Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Friday from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All gallery events are free and open to the public. If you are looking for something to do this weekend, the Expo Center on Murray State's campus is hosting their annual Bull Blowout event on October 11th at 8 p.m. and October 12th at 11 p.m. Some of the events include bull riding, barrel racing, and mutton busting. Tickets will be on sale at the door upon entry, and Murray State students will receive a discount with their student ID. You can find more information about the event on the Expo Center's Facebook page. Don't go away. There's more to come on MSU Tonight. Stay tuned. <laughs> 